The chairman and managing director of Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the critical design review of the 5.5 generation AMCA program will be completed by early 2022, that will set the stage for the rollout of the first technology demonstrator by the end of 2023 and first flight by 2024. The Director General of Aeronautical Development Agency has also confirmed that the Tejas Mark II is also progressing as planned, and it has completed all the activities towards critical design review, and the rollout of the first Tejas Mark II aircraft is planned in 2022, and the first flight is planned for 2023. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the much-awaited naval Tejas Mark I NP-5 trainer is in production-ready configuration, and it will conduct its first flight by March 2022. This is a significant development, as the NP-5 will act as a testbed for the development of the twin-engine deck-based fighter. The NP-5 will carry out off-nominal landing trials in different weather conditions to study and collect data on the stress points on the landing gears, that will be crucial for the development of landing gears for the TED-BF program, and any design changes that could be required for the TED-BF to last its operational lifespan. The DRDO has released a video of the Rushtum 2 drone carrying out automatic landing and takeoff trials, and has said that it has successfully proven the critical technologies of automatic landing and takeoff, and the navigation was done using the Gigan satellites via the UAVs on board SATCOM. The Gigan stands for GPS Aided Geo Augmented Navigation, which is a space based augmentation system comprising satellites and ground based stations developed by the ISRO that provides the best possible navigational services over the Indian Flight Information Region. Indian firm Rossel Texas has been awarded a contract by Lockheed Martin to build electrical wire harness and interconnect system parts in support of Lockheed Martin's $2.1 billion contract to supply 24 MH-60 helicopters to the Indian Navy. This contract will enable Lockheed Martin to obtain offset credit towards the platform sale. Three MH-60 helicopters have been handed over to the Indian Navy and are currently undergoing pilot and crew training in the US, while the production work of all helicopters is expected to be completed by September 2024. Prime Minister Modi would land on the Porvanchal Express in a C-130J Super Hercules transport aircraft on 16 November, and this event would mark the inauguration of the 340 km expressway connecting the state capital with the eastern districts. Mirage 2000 and Su-30 aircraft would be making multiple takeoffs and landings at the 3.3 km emergency airstrip on the inauguration date. The armies of India and France will carry out the sixth edition of the Shakti joint exercise, focusing on anti-terror operations in a semi-urban terrain from 15 to 26 November in France, that will enhance military cooperation and interoperability between the two armies. The Gorkha Rifles Infantry Battalion will be representing the Indian Army in this bilateral exercise, while the French side will be represented by troops of 21st Marine Infantry Regiment of 6th Light Armoured Brigade. The Indian Space Research Organization has commissioned a new 18-meter antenna for the first time, that will allow to conduct telemetry and command operations on the faster X-band frequency. ISRO Chief Dr. Keshavan has said that the antenna has been commissioned as part of the preparations for the Aditya L-1 mission, which will be India's first dedicated space-based solar observatory.